Hello and welcome to the AusNZ Combined Racing League Race of Champions for our Ferrari Challenge Series. I'm your host, Dark Racing 40, and we are here at Magello for our final race of our Race of Championships here. So we're looking at Dado on screen now. So there's no practice for this race. But we did extend qualifying for five minutes. We've had ten minutes of we've had five minutes of qualifying so far. So we're down to the, under the final three minutes. So Sato's on pole so far for 148. Dado in second for 149. Night Havoc race one winner. In third. Whopper, who was leading race one but then had an instant and fell all the way down to the backside. In fourth, illogical. Oh uh, speaking of a change there. That was a hey, Woody. Woody Lizard jumps up into sixth there. Illogical Sports now falls back down to seventh. Night Pegasus in El Tomato, sponsored by Heinz. In eighth, Commander Jim, who was doing really well here at the incident in the last lap on the last race, fell all the way down to the back of the pack. And Maddie's seeking. He's decided, no, nah, I don't want to call for it. I'm going to start at the back. So he's going to probably start off 10 there. So under two minutes remaining there. You can see everyone sort of spread out around the track now. As we're watching Sato, Sato's not up in his nap on now. Here's Night Havoc, 148.8 in second place now. Gets up on the curb there, you can hear him flexing the throttle. Oh, whopper, he smashed out another lap time again. Another, another almost dead flat time. 48.008 there for Whopper and the white Ferrari. Dado's in fourth now, Commander Jim. It's right behind the tomato of Night Pegasus. Highlander. Well, he's crunched his car at some point in this qualifying session. So this will be his final lap. Let's bring up the map now. So whoever's come down the front straight now. Well, knife pieces is a second up on his time, but this will be his final lap. So these guys are not going to get another lap in. This will be their final lap. Illogical. He's parked it. He's done. So that's it. Qualifying is done and dusted. Highlander. He's parked it. He's done and dusted. Here comes Night Peg says, Oh, that looked like. No. Night Peg says, What does he do? He increases his time, but doesn't increase his pace. Oh, Night Havoc down the third. Dado jumps up into fourth. There is Sato. Sato. I think Sato's the last guy we're waiting on for. Here comes Whopper. Can Whopper go faster? And no, he doesn't. So now we are waiting on Sato. So Sato is the last car we are waiting for. And then we're going to the final race here of our Race of Champions here. For our Ferrari Challenge here at Magello. Through the S's. So here we go, onto the front straight. Here comes Sato. What can he do? No, he's going to abort it. I think he's going to practice coming to pit lane just in case. 
Yes, there is. So he wasn't going to go any faster, but I think he's just practiced coming to pit level and just crashes into the building. So that's it for qualifying for this second race here. And whop of bags on pole again with Sato in second place, Dado in third. Night Havoc in fourth, race one winner there. Commander Jim in fifth. Highlander in sixth. Woody Lizard in seventh. Illogical Sports all the way down in eighth. Night Pegasus, the Tomato sponsored by Heinz. And Maddie Seeking, sponsored by Pino Cruises, down in 10th. He didn't sell that time at all. So the gap this time is a bit closer. Two, because Maddie didn't have time there. Two and a half seconds. That's the gap between everyone now. Does anyone have a good, quick, fast sector in the back of it? No, the top two do. What are the mid sector? 31, 31s. Pretty much everyone's in 31s. A couple in 32s. Sector 1, 38, 38. Yeah, I think that's a big. I think that's the point where everyone's with the fast guys are making their time. It's all in sector one, and a couple of tents in sector two. And everyone, the first two guys are really making up their lot, lot of their pace up in the third sector. So we're waiting for everyone to be ready. Clear over for the final race of our Ferrari challenges for our race of champions at here at Magello. Home of pizza, pasta, and Ferrari. Everyone's favorite plumber, Mario. So, whop up back on pole. Sato, this time a bit more closer to the front in second. Dado there in third. Night Havoc in fourth. Commander Jim in fifth. Highlander, middle of the pack in sixth. Woody Lizard in his brown, maroon Ferrari in seventh. Illogical Sports at the back of the pack here. Not Pegasus, the tomato, and Maddie seeking right off the back there. So let's have a look what his roof camera at all the cars in front of him. So that's the so that's the view that Whopper has going up to turn one there. See the mountains in the background there. Here we go, let's watch the start from the back here. And away we go, Maddie gets an almighty launch there. They go screaming up into turn one, all these Ferraris. Oh, it looks like Dado's trying to get onto the inside of Whopper here, but Sato's going to the outside here. And Whopper keeps the inside line covered. Take the lead here. But Sato's positioned himself on the next hand side. He's going to shove down the inside, not quite, but Whopper has the next line for the other side. And Whopper's now finally in front of Sato. Oh, that is a bad luck down there. That is Night Havoc. Oh, Night Havoc could have won this night now, but now he's right at the back of the pack now. I believe that's Commander Jim now, so the two European boys have got together here. So, hopefully Night Havoc doesn't have any damage here, but he's going to have a lot of time to make up his 10 seconds behind. So here's Night Pegasus. Maddie's seeking the man who didn't qualify. He's up into six now. And a logical sport from the back of the pack. He's up into fourth, too. He's trained a Ferrari now. So Night Havoc, he's going to have to get up high to get some points here. To win this, to win this race of champions here. One first race here, but now he's down the back of the pack. He's got a lot of work to do. He's 10 seconds behind. So here comes Sato. Sato's trying to make an outside move here on Whopper. And if he gets that to stick, and he doesn't get to stick now, but he's got it right in the draft of Whopper. And Dado's right behind him too. So now he's making the move around the outside. It's hard to pull off here. He's actually in front of him, but Whopper's going to the inside line here. Sato's going to go the long way around. But if he can stay there, oh, he's definitely in front now. And he should, yes, Sato has taken the lead now of this race. And now Dado 
He's trying to hunt. He's trying to put a lean on Whopper. So Sato is now taking the lead here. Gato is sponsored by Make a Wish here. But it looks like Whopper's trying to come back at Sato. Maddie's seeking. Maddie's seeking. No. He was doing so well and he's just got it all crossed up and he's hit the wall. That helps not Havoc. Another car he doesn't have to worry about passing. Matty has tagged the wall. That's not good for him. Oh, his car's not looking pretty straight here. Here's Woody Lizard in six now. Logical. Look closer this time around now in fourth. Highlander, Highlander in fifth there now. Here comes Dado. Dado sends it down the inside. Doesn't quite make it off, but he's got the inside line again now. But who's going to run out of this final going here? Whopper's on the outside. It's going to give him a good run here. Dado pulls him back behind him. He's going board with Dado. Trying to use the drive to catch up with the back of Frey. Shows the no deep in the brakes, deep in the brakes, deep in the brakes, and sends it down the inside of Whopper and makes it stick. Whopper didn't even defend that. I don't think he was actually expecting Dado to come from that far back, but he did. He licked that step and he sent it. Oh no, Whopper! Whopper's got across. He's touched the grass on one side, now he's touching the dirt on the other side. Now he's losing positions back, back, back he goes. Here comes a tomato. From Night Pegasus, sponsored by Heinz. It's Night Havoc, he's down to nine seconds off the lead now. Maddie seeking to him to pit now, so obviously he's, oh, he's dented that Ferrari a little bit more. So this, let's have a look at the track map. According to the game, he's going to go down a lap. That's where all the red dots are now, that indicate that they will get ahead of him. But we'll see what happens when he rolls out of pit lane now. So he's Sato. That's a 1.1 second lead ahead of Dado. Illogical Sports is now up into third. With Whopper going off the track there. Highlander up into fifth. Oh, Jim. Oh, Whopper's had another incident again. He qualifies at the front, but then small mistakes are costing him big time now. He's crunched that Ferrari. He's killed Casper the Ghost. So Maddie's seeking. Maddie's seeking's out of pit lane now. So his car won't be shown repaired to us, but it should be fully repaired now. So the guys make their way down the front straight now. Start of lap four. Sato leads Dado illogical. Highlander. Better race this time right now. He's up to the fourth. Woody Lizard into fifth. There's Night Pegasus from the back of the back. He's into six. There's Night Havoc into seven. He's close onto Night Pegasus. He doesn't be held around him. And Whopper's come to pit lane right now to repair his Ferrari. There he is. Team starts going to work now. They're that quick. They don't look like they're doing any work, but they are. Let's have a look. Where's Matty? Matty's seeking to double right handers. So it depends how long Whopper's pit stop is. Maddie might get him. So Sato out to a 1.3 second lead. Sato holding down second, the eldest statesman. Sponsored by Make a Wish. Hope I think his wish will be that he doesn't have to be put himself into uh, adult diapers this year. And Whopper's out of pit lane, so unfortunately Maddie was not able to get ahead of Whopper in the pit lane. So obviously Maddie had way more damage than Whopper did. So there's Dado. Illogical Sports up into third. Try to get it to Dado. Everyone seems to be a little bit more space out this time now. He's our race one winner on the back of Night Pegasus. 
So it's the Havoc versus the Pig. Let's see, down the road now, the punch rate, Night Havoc should get a good draft here off the El Tomato of Knight Pegasus in front of him. He's staying pretty much close to his wheel tracks here. Sends it, sends it down the inside. Hard on the brakes, gets it turned in and takes up another position. Oh, almost overshoots the corner, let Pegasus back past him. Night Havoc is now up into sixth. He's going to have to gain some more places to try and keep this race of championship, race of champions win to himself. The Sato's up into first place, and this probably by my maths is probably going to give him the, uh, the round. Sadato. Stick with Sato. Left arms are, he was faster than Sato the previous round. So is the logical. No one's seen the world on fire right now in lap times. Highland has picked up a time penalty. That's not what he wants. I think even Woody going out now. So Highland uh, needs to start pulling the gap here on Woody Lizard to try and keep that position at least. Or the time penalty will cost him. Logical and Dado. Really making much inroads on Sato. He's not Pegasus. Slowly losing a bit of time to Night Havoc. Let's have a look at Maddie so he can come down to turn one here. So his lap time's 151. It's not he's pretty much in the ballpark there with everyone else is. Just that incident has cost him there. His whopper. He was up at the front. Commander Jim. All the way down eighth now. Night Pegasus. Night Havoc. He's got four seconds to try and make up on Woody Lizard. We're just about halfway through the race now. There's Woody Lizard trying to get all on the backside of Highlander. Back of the fry right ahead of him. Oh, that's up on the curb there, Woody Lizards. They're side by side. Here comes Highlander, he's trying to keep him out. Oh, he's trying to crash him into the corner, but if Highlander can stay there, he'll get him. Oh, Woody gets a bit of a slide there. So Highlander gets away of that one. Making a sm small mistake, gave Woody Lizard the chance to get up alongside him, but couldn't quite get the move done. But Woody Lizard still got plenty of time. So here's Sato. Finishing lap, six staying lap, seventh now. A 150 nearly flat, Dado for 150. Zero nine eight bit slower, illogical for 150. Highlander 152, Woody Lizard 152, Night Havoc with a 149. He is flying. You can see these next two cars there, there might be a chance for him to, to, to keep this race of champions wins and come home the champion of this. Here's Night Pegasus, Commander Jim. There's Whopper. Well, we'll also have a quick lap time previous lap of 149. Oh no, Maddie! What has happened to Maddie here? Oh, Maddie has lost it. Oh, he's. Sato goes around there. Oh, something. So something happened to Sato's car because it is all crunch up as whatever. So is he here something? Or is he the thing? Because here comes Dado like a freight train. Oh, Maddie, he's broken his Ferrari. But here comes Dado. 
So Soto must have an instant then. Might have lost it, hit the hit the wall, bounced out, and got back on the track straight away. I think it's Jado a chance to get into the lead here, because I'm pretty sure Soto's now compromised with straight line performance and handling. This Dado's all over the back of him right now. Now it's a drag race here. And clearly Dado's got the straight line performance here. So Sato's had an instant somewhere and that, is, and that is hurting him in a straight line now. So Dado now takes over the lead of this race here. So the question is, oh there goes Sato, Sato's like I'm going to play in the sand trap now. So Sato's falling off, Matty Seeking having to pit again. As you can see, no Fronto Bono on you. So the question is now, Sato with a wounded car, how many positions is he going to lose? Can Night have it get ahead of Sato? Now, Dado might be potentially in the box seat here to win the race of champions here for the throw challenge here at Magello. It's all coming undone here in the back half of this second race for tonight. So there's your logical scores now. He's just closing up on Dado a bit now. Thin half a second. Sato's four back to three seconds. Oh, Highlander gone a bit wide there. If Woody Lucid, he's closing on him. So it's safe to say, if Matty's seeking leaving pit lane now, so I'm pretty sure he's down a lap. He's on lap six, nine, seven, yep, yeah. Trying to warm his tyres up there. He can just whopper still if he's flappy. Oh, I think a bit more damage to that Ferrari. But here's a nice battle here. Not having trying to make a charge, come back through on Woody and Highlander. Sato that, that, yeah, he must have crashed, he's had a spinning crash his car and that's hurt him straight on performance badly. Because within two laps he was in the lead and now he's dropped to four seconds behind, five seconds behind now. So these guys here should get upon Sato real quickly here and he's going to join the battle. So this is what Night Havoc wants, because if he can get past all three of these, that will put him into third. I think Sato's going to become the... Def oh, Woody's just tapped him. And gone around. Woody has just tapped Highland and he's spun it. Oh, Highland has gone around too due to that. So Night Pegasus... Oh, that was close. That was Command Jim just coming through and he comes... Night Pegasus as well, and the El Tomato. So Night Havoc has been gifted two positions for free from Woody, just out breaking himself and touching the back of Highlander. So now Sato is one and a half seconds ahead of Night Havoc, the man who was dead last at the start of this race. Oh, Dado's picked up a time penalty too now. It's all going on in here, the back half of this race now. So logical will be within a striking distance of taking this race win here now. So I don't know who's going to potentially win this anymore now. It's all been chaos now. So here comes Night Havoc. Night Havoc has to get past Sato. Which he should easily do oh, this lap around. So we're on lap 10 now. We're looking an ultimate lap now. See Commander Jim now, he's all the way back, he's found his way back himself up to fifth now due to Woody Liz and Highlander getting involved in each other. Here he comes, Night Havoc. Is he gonna make the move here? You can't sit around for too long. Well, I don't think he's gonna get the other two boys because it's a seven second gap from the leader to these guys now. But here comes Night Havoc. Sato trying to defend here. 
Nine Havoc doesn't really have to do anything special. He just wait for the long straight here and he'll just blast past him because you're not going to get the guys ahead of him. So I will just sort of sit here behind here and just stay as close as you can. Don't make any mistakes. Make sure you get yourself a decent run out of the final corner and just blast past Sato in a straight line. But Sato is definitely compromised here. Let's have a look at the lead now. So Dato, he'll have at least a minimum one second time penalty. So Logical needs to stay within that thing. Oh, Sato and Night Havoc, they're going at it. Night Havoc wants to get past Sato. Logical and Dato still going at it here. Oh, that is a Matty seeking. He just cleans himself there. He must have another instant. Matty's not having a good run tonight again. So here we go. Your logical. Just closing, closing, slowly closing, slowly closing. Not by much, not by much. He can't make the move. But here comes Night Havoc. Sato is a sitting duck and he's just going to go blasting past him around the outside. And takes third position now. The man who was dead last year. Now Sato's riding his bumper, but I don't think Sato's got the performance to keep him at bay now. So we're just going to watch Night Havoc here slowly pull away from Sato now in his final lap. I think Woody's Woody's in a battle of knife practices as well on his final lap here. So we went to the double right hands for the final time. Dado needs to pull out more gap now if he's got a one second penalty, which we'll find at the end of the race. He needs to find three tenths, two tenths of a second to take this victory here. Now into the one of the few final hairpins here is the right hander. Yeah, he goes another S bend here to go. So not having he's pulled the gap over Sato. He's got a couple of seconds now on him. But I don't think this Dado's gonna make the gap here unless he goes deep into this corner and gets a really good run out of this final corner to try and pull the gap. But here we go. Final corner, Dado's going to take the checkered flag, but he's not going to keep the position due to time penalties. So a logical sport here will win the race here. So a logical over Dado, here comes Night Havoc. He was dead last, now he finds himself back up into third. Here comes Sato. Sato for a very crash Ferrari in fourth. Commander Jim, is he going to keep position? Here's a time penalty. Here comes Night Havoc, and yes, he does. Woody Lizard, Woody Lizard, very slow. Woody Lizard must have an issue here. Woody Lizard's getting Highlander past him. I think Woody Lizard's out of... No. He had fuel. He's just backed off there. So you can see Burnout's going on galore now. That should be a logical sport. Yep. Logical Sport taking his victory here for the race of second race of Race of Champions. And bang! He's just blown up the motor of that Ferrari. There's Dado. So we're going to find out shortly who's the official winner for the Race of Champions for our Ferrari series. There's Sato. Sato was doing so well too. He's had the crash. Command Jim, Night Havoc. So I think we're waiting. Oh, okay. Matty Seekins upside down against the fence. So if you want to know what the underneath of a Ferrari looks like, there it is. So we're waiting on whopping out. Let's have a quick uh, on board of a uh, Matty. Yep. Let's go to the cockpit view. Yep, you can see he's changing his wheel, but he's going nowhere. So we're waiting on whopping, and that is it. Oh, <laughs> there's the bottom of Matty's car again. So that is it. Illogical Sports takes the victory. Of a one second penalty due to data. Look at that gap 0 0.076. That's all data needed. He needed 
to finish a bit further, but point zero eight ahead of him. Knight Havoc comes home in third, Sato in fourth, Commander Jim in fifth, Knight Pegasus in sixth, Highlander in seventh, Woody Lizard, it was doing well, then slow down for some unknown reason to back off. I think he's trying to give the position back to Highlander because he accidentally spun him. Whopper, who was qualifying pole, but then had a few incidents, and then Maddie seeking just not his night. So let's roll over to the. Uh... So there's the podium, illogical data, and let's have a look at the championship results. And Night Havoc wins the race of champions. Three points clear ahead of illogical sports data racer coming home in third. Sato 15th in 4th, Highland in 5th, Knight Pegasus, the man who's qualified at the back, finishes in 6th, nicely well done, ahead of Commander Jim, Woody Lizard, Whopper and Matty Seeking. Let's have a look at the team championship, so Asia Pacific Racing takes the victory with 1 win, 4 podiums, to European Racing, 1 win, 2 podiums, and Team North America, they got Bupkus. So that is it. So... I've been your host, Dark Racing 40. I hope you enjoyed our racing. Uh, we have a special event coming up soon, which is 2.4 hours of Spa. We'll be simulating 24 hours in-game for GT Racing at Spa Frockenshaw, which will be happening, I think, next weekend, I believe, or the weekend of that. It's not too far away for that. So, yes, which hopefully it will, should be live-streamed. If not, we can't help that, because we probably haven't had anyone able to help us, but hopefully we will. So, until next time... I've been your host, Dark Racing 40, and we'll catch you on the flip side.